and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for a special standard shakeup event uh, that we're going to be playing here. We're going to be playing a few, well, I guess two different decks today with Chandra Tribal and Abzan Hero. We're starting with Chandra Tribal. And we're going to play some more decks tomorrow, and, and maybe we'll play this deck, this event even more, uh, depending on how, how y'all like it. So basically what this is, um, uh, as you can kind of read here, my record's in the way a little bit. There we go. So we're shaking up standard with an alternative band list for this event only. So the following cards over here are all banned. So you cannot play any of these cards. So there's a lot of cards over there that uh, people get pretty annoyed about, whether it's Teferi, Time Raveler, or Nyssa, who shakes the world, Cauldron Familiar, uh, you know, Brineborn Cutthroat, and Brazen Borrower. A lot of annoying cards over there. Hydroid Crisis, Embercleave. So uh, it's basically like an underpowered standard. You'll get rid of a lot of the most powerful stuff. So it allows you to play, allows you to kind of brew with some some cards you wouldn't normally be able to play in standard and uh, try playing some some kind of uh, jankier decks that, um, that we get to play. And so that's what we're going to be trying out here. So I think we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, our first deck is going to be Chandra Tribal. Y'all that have been around the channel for a while have definitely seen me play this deck a few times before. Um, <clears throat> but there's a lot of cards in, in the current format that are really difficult to deal with, whether it's, you know, like Embercleave or um, Trailer Crumbs outgrinding you, uh, just Counter Magic in general, and then Nyssa, Hydra Crisis, Questing Bees. Like, there's, you know, this is kind of an underpowered deck compared to like what people are playing in standard right now but it's a lot of fun chandra's regulator can do some crazy things letting us activate our planeswalkers twice a turn by just spending one mana um and uh yeah we get to do some really fun stuff so that's what we're going to try to do try to get these chandras in play we do have a 20 damage combo if we have regulator in play and then novice pyromancer and acolyte of flame we activate both of them Acolyte of Flame, we do the second zero to put two one ones into play, but with the regular, we you know we copy it, so we make four one ones, and then this Chandra, we do the plus one to give those elementals plus two, but then we copy it, so we do it twice, we give them plus four plus zero, so we have four <coughs> five one creatures, and so we can do twenty damage. So that's a, that's some way that we can kind of finish the games out if we stabilize, get to the late game. Um, you know, we can kind of surprise our opponent. Like maybe we have like the regulator and the novice pyromancer in play and we have five mana. Then we just drop Acolyte of Flame and then boom, activate both of those 20 damage. So hopefully we'll pull that off. Let's give this a try. We're just going to be playing seven games, you know, win or lose. So we do our best of one decks. We'll be playing seven games here. Happy New Year, Eli. <laughs> Fire Artisan, the best thing it does is help hit land drops. Help us get to Ugin. Looks like we got this cool little holiday battlefield. Well, never mind. Looks like we're going to have our land drops to hit. I wonder if I can just untap. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to cast the triumph. I'm going to untap. I'll get punished if we draw a three mana planeswalker. We didn't or like a three mana card to play. But just untap it or like a Chandra's regulator. Like we would have got punished there because would have preferred to play that. But because <clears throat> I'd rather like triumph is pretty valuable. Uh, I'm two damage. Because nice sure Triumph can you do can't. five damage. That's a pretty valuable card to keep. I want to see if we drew a different removal spell. Oh, 
Well, thanks for not taking Ugin. Do not defy the design. Secrets. Novice Pyromancer is a pretty big important part of, of this deck with that minus ability to add mana. Novice Pyromancer just kind of seems like an underplayed card in general. No. Chandra. Defense. Defense. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Basically, you get to just have Ugin keep on making two twos infinitely and I would get the card if they would sack the token. Yeah, I would still get the card there. Basically, your cards don't really go to your opponent's hand ever. Yeah, you, yeah, you get to use multiple copies of a card. Absolutely. I guess I should I should have done this first. It doesn't really matter though. Yeah, so we're basically playing best of one standard, but we just, yeah, the exact same rules as best of one standard, just with an additional vandalist that has all these cards, including seven red cards. And we're still playing a mono red deck, even though there's seven, seven red cards banned. No, I don't think they see the card under the token, even if they take the token. No. All right, I like seeing Flame Sweep. Because, like, an, an underpowered standard format with best of one it means there's going to be a lot of aggro. <laughs> a lot of people just kind of putting together some aggro decks. And so Flame Sweep's pretty important. Honestly, this made... Like, the more we play, like, we just... If you do just run into lots and lots of aggro, you can put the fourth Flame Sweep in here. Ooh, is opponent going... Is it Flash without... No, they can't be doing Flash, right? Yeah, they're going Arclight Phoenix. That's pretty sweet. So what card do I want to discard? Do I want to discard the fifth mountain? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll probably find more mountains. I think I want to just get this Chandra up towards the ultimate. Oh, Dragonfire would have been a good one. It exiles. 
That would have been a good one to have, Exile Phoenix. The Drake. I'm gonna go ahead and pay that. Land. Nope. Land. No. No land. Hmm. Still no land? I am playing 26 lands. I have a lot of lands in here. I didn't want to use both shocks there. Got super punished for discarding that land, I suppose. Um all right, I'm not I'm not going to be paying two I'm not going to be paying the one mana cuz I need I need 5 mana here. So decline. Cuz I need 5 mana. So this just has to be a land. That or that works. It's you burning. That works too. Cuz if it, if we got a land, then I'd be able to minus 2 and copy it, so I'd be able to play this and then minus 4. Or minus two and then do four damage. Let's light it up. But we can just light it up instead. So I would think they'd be able to get the Phoenix back with six lands and seven cards in hand. I would think. No, Niv is not banned. Um, question is, is it worth doing this shakeup event if you're level 110? I mean, depend, depend, a couple of things. One, you know, it's a, it could be just be a fun format to play. You know, like if you, you know, like that's, that's certainly one thing. Besides that, um, does it cost 500 gems or 250 gold? Besides that, uh, really the only other thing you're winning is the, um, escape to the wilds, um, the Escape to the Wilds card style. So if you don't have that card style, which card, you know, it's a rare, rare card styles usually cost a thousand gems. So you can get that like half off with gems or, you know, just be able to use it with gold. So if you want the card style, then yes. Or if you just want to play a standard event without all the most annoying cards. So like I said, just go ahead and ultimate Chandra. I can I can minus seven Chandra and I can copy it so I can just exile the top 14 cards. But at that point, is it really worth exiling more cards? First question. Burning. I think I'm a decent enough 
answer. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. Gonna be greedy here and not just go minus seven with the amount of mana that we had there. You know, we're only gonna have five mana. Um, I'm gonna try waiting. Yeah, I mean, well, I had my land drop too, so I would have had the five mana. But still. Yeah, I agree that. I think waiting. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So now I have. Uh, eight, nine. Now I have nine mana. Let's kill this thing. I want 14 cards with 9 mana. Okay. So it looks like we have lethal. If I have enough mana, I have 6 mana. No, I don't have enough mana. Uh, I don't quite have enough mana. I can make them chump block, though, or just block with their Crackling Drake. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Is it. Is Stream Decker updated now? I thought I did before. I was one, one mana short from Triumph. Kill the Crackling Drake and then kill them. This puts them down to one, though. And so I, I don't really know how they're going to win being at one. Yeah. All right, so we are 2 and 0 oh with Chandra Tribal. All right, we got a Flex Channeler. That's kind of cool. I always like new formats. This, I think this format can allow us to play um, Hey, GG's there, King. GG's. Um, this format allows us to play uh, some cards that may not be necessarily good enough for standard otherwise. And that's always fun. Temple of Skrylance. One, two, one. I think I really need to just kill Hushbringer. Don't start any fires without me. Making one ones doesn't, you know, like we deal one damage, but this thing has lifelink, so they just gain one. So, like, really, what we want to do is the put loyalty counters. Ah, boo. Yeah, this is the Raconteur's Many Shades of Black. Starfield Mystic. <sighs> Flame Sweep would have been amazing. Really need to cast that. Let's draw a card first. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, okay. New Ashiok? Um... Uh-oh. Oh, right. I need to kill the Hushbringer in response. Whoops. Right. <laughs> right. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. in my way is getting sizzled Glad I can help with your so of course I have to have to kill that thing so I'm not taking lethal um, if they don't kill the Chandra I can kill the troll or if they do kill the Sh Chandra if I draw a land I can kill the troll I need seven mana to be able to play Chandra and, and do eight damage because the regulator I could do four twice <laughs> yeah, Slayer. Yeah, that mono white formation is just awesome in this event. I was gonna play. I was gonna play that one tomorrow. Oh, I can't destroy Prison Realm. Prison Realm's an enchantment. I don't have. I don't have anything that destroys an enchantment. Yay! We drew the land. Hooray! Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. Hope they don't have another troll, because I'm taking, because I'm dead if they have a troll. Boom. Hey, good job, Hablaco. Mono white formation Are gave you top 300 finish. To In ranked, good job. You went a uh, register Vivian Greyhenge deck. Nice. Ah, uh, no, another troll. How long have I been in MTG? I've, I've been playing pretty consistently, and, and I've been playing a lot for a decade-ish. Around a decade. Maybe a little more. Alright, well, we would have had a better chance there if I would have just killed the Hushbringer the first time. We would have had a lot better chance if I would have just killed that before the troll. But forgot. Yep, I got trolled. Probable alliance deck. Sticks up to six. We have another four damage to kill it. Basically, I think I can just wait on the flame sweep.
That still that's just five damage. It doesn't kill the novice pyromancer. All right, now that kills the pi novice pyromancer. Well, good turn. The main question is if I would want to get rid of um, Chandra's Triumph. I think I'd want to keep the shock. Which maybe I should. I really hope they don't have another shock and they, they don't kill my Chandra. Honestly, maybe I should have. Maybe I should just be waiting a turn to play the Chandra. Maybe I should just be discarding Regulator here. Oh gosh, they have a, fe a third Phoenix. Okay, and they have a shock. Wow. All right, well. All right, so playing playing this Awakened Inferno ended up being pretty wrong because I need to need to wait till after they brought back the Phoenixes and play it and do the minus two and copy it like with the seven mana and copy the minus two and then exile two of the the two Phoenix. Like that's that's what I should have done. So at least both of these games, we can, we can kind of point to my mistakes. Um, are we beating the Improbable Alliances still? Maybe not. Uh, Gideon's Sacrifice is the best against um, a Deafening Clarion or or just a huge attack from like a bunch of you know like Cavaliers I could have played that better there, but am I still winning that? Probably not. I'm probably still not, not winning that deck against... Not, like, I'm probably not winning that game <clears throat> with what we had and what they had. But playing the, the Chandra at 6 and just doing the emblem, that ended up being a very poor play. Yeah, biggest yeah tip for a newer player, you're stuck in gold too. I mean, the biggest thing is don't don't be. It's okay to be stuck in gold too. There's nothing wrong with that. Just you know, keep keep playing, keep learning, um, as much as you can, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, it's this is a really difficult game, and a lot of people that even that you're playing against have been playing for a very long time, and it's it's okay if you're not doing a lot of winning right away. Um, but then besides that, the level one full course articles written by Reed Duke a couple of years ago is an awesome resource as well. Homework. 
pretty good curve. Running register on turn three. Oh, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good curve. Knight of the Ebon Legion into Ro Robber of the Rich, into Rotting Registrar, into another Robber plus Stormfist Crusader. Pretty good curve. If I don't kill Robber, they get an Acolyte of Flame. I guess I'm just pretty dead. Feature! Welcome back, 13 months. Yeah, that's just that's just a perfect curve. Thank you so much. 13 months there. Our seventh sub of the day. All right, got to win these last two to finish with a positive record. Yeah. Cyrus, staying on that seven month streak. Thank you, Cyrus. Flame sweep. Nope. Actually, maybe I just want to cast Dragonfire here. Oh, I shouldn't let them venerate Luxodon, should I? I could still Luxodon either way. Don't have Luxodon. No, don't have Luxodon. Yeah, it's two, just two games in a row with opponents having perfect curve being on the play. Just five one drops, three lands, and a Luxodon. Like, that's, that's honestly just absolutely perfect. It's just, it's just two games in a row like that. All right, last last game here for the Chandra Tribal in the standard shakeup event. Izzet seems to be pretty popular. This is the third Izzet deck we've played. Is this going to be Phoenix like the other two? Or yeah, like the... Or the draw two kind of kind of stuff? Um, I'm happy as a to start some so if they have a shock plus a card draw spell, then they kill Chandra. But I, I need Chandra in play for to turn on these triumphs. 
Okay, just the card draw spell. Hey, go easy. I'm training here. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. Sit back and watch it burn. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Should not have Chandra triumphed, I guess. Hey, Nalda. Hey, uh, I'm Chandra. Nice to meet you. Time for sparks to fly. gonna be bad for you the improbable alliance yeah that's a good turn my plan is crystallized been saying that a lot these last few few games Let me synthesize the facts. So I want to be drawing my six mana walkers. They do this after blocks. No, they did it before blocks. That was rough. Did we go two and five? Is that right? Or did we go three and four? No, maybe we went two and five. Um. Yeah, so I, as you can see, you know, like we're we need our removal spells to kind of line up. You know, like we need our flame sweep when we need flame sweep. Other other times, like the challenges triumph. But then, you know, like we need our our planeswalkers. Our planeswalkers are really what um, we're what we're getting ahead with. As we saw there, like whenever we'd play our Chandras, they were getting killed pretty quickly. I wasn't able to protect them well enough. Um, and then you know, like a improbable alliance was a really good threat. That was hard to deal with. Same with Arclight Phoenix, those two. And then we played against two aggro decks that just had amazing hands. Um, but that's Chandra Tribal. Um, <clears throat> that's for the standard shakeup event. So I was I was 
I was looking forward to the deck. I thought it was going to do better than that. I thought we were going to do good against the aggro decks with having all this cheap removal and the flame sweeps and like the ways to uh, you know use the regulator to help smooth out our draws and everything. But just didn't didn't uh, work out for us. Um, all right. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, Shonda Tribal. All right. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know what you think about the standard shakeup event. How are you liking it over there? Like I said we're gonna play some more. Um, we'll play some more decks with it tomorrow. Also, I'll be making some some new decks during the twelve hour stream from it there. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.